You know what, everybody? I'm really, like, I said this in all my videos, but this game, the more I play it, the more it just grows on me and the more I like it. I'm not sure if any of you feel the same way, but I just play this game so much. I think I've nearly got, uh, it's a bit bad to say, I think I've nearly got two days playtime on this game. But I don't know what it is. I'm just seriously, I just love this game. Yeah, I've been trying to hit a wall run trick shot. What I've been really trying to do is hit a wall run trick shot. So, you know, obviously just running on a wall, then going for a trick shot right off of it. And I actually hit a kind of a fail one today in free for all. I'll show you guys that right now anyway, just to start off the video. Oh, okay, I, that, that was an accident. I, yeah, don't worry about that. I don't think <laughs> I hit a shot by accident. This guy was about to kill last time. I just died by this crash like everything. It's like three people up there just hiding on <laughs> Just ignore that. That's Just ignore disgusting. that. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> See, I mean, there wasn't really much time left in that game, but, you know, I thought, you know, I might as well go for it, and I kind of hit a really bad one, but I'm going to be showing you guys another trick shot at the end of the game. You know, sometimes on SMD, especially during the day when I stream, and all the people, like the daytime people that are playing, the guys that don't go to school, when I'm streaming then, the SMD lobbies, I can't explain how sweaty and horrible they are, so me and my six man, we usually hop over to, like, TDM, try some TDM trick shotting, even though we would never use the TDM trick shots that we hit in our episodes or anything like that. Like the TDM trick shots that we go through in my live streams, like we don't do that. Like we're not going to put them on our episodes. We're not going to, you know, use them to like lower the standards. The only thing that I will ever put in an episode is an S and D trick shot. Maybe a really sick free fall trick shot that's not like a 29 lobby. But TDM trick showing, no, I just do it, you know, because it's fun for streaming. It's really fun for streaming actually because on this game it's the game type you get the most attempts in. But yeah, we were doing S and D today and the S and D lobbies today, oh my god, they were so fun. I came so close to hitting but we didn't manage to hit. But yeah, like I was saying, when we took a little interval and played TDM, my friend Ratuz actually did hit. So I'll show you guys that kill cam at the end of the game But obviously as you can tell by the title of this video What I'm gonna be talking about today is the day that I actually nearly died I did I know for a fact I did mention this in a video a long time ago But it didn't really get many views because you know I made it a really long time ago And if you're a fan of my live streams you would have definitely heard this story Because I've spoke about this story a few times And I was actually speaking to like my friend Harry the other day when I was out with him And he reminded me of the story because he was next to me on the plane when this was all going on And yeah you know an I died story and I'm saying it starts on a plane just can't be good <laughs> So yeah get into this story that I want to tell pretty much it was my first ever time going to America. I'd never been to America before. I was, but yeah, I went to this place called Ski Vermont. It's this um, skiing place in the state of New York. I went there in year 10 with my school on a school trip with all my friends. So it must have been when I was like, I think about... 15 years old, 16 years old. I made a great time of skiing. I absolutely love skiing. That's the first and only time I've been skiing. I really want to go skiing again. But that was the first time I've been skiing and we we're having a really great time. And we had a sick time. And we we're at JFK Airport. And because obviously a lot of people went on this school trip, there was like two planes full. So me and my friends, we were like the last batch of people to get on the second plane. Like most of like the majority of my school all got onto the first plane and then me and it was pretty much me and just my friends because we were stuck together we were like the ones at the back we got put onto the second plane which you know obviously we didn't care about we got to stay in america for a bit longer we didn't care at all so we get onto the plane you know the plane takes off everything's going how a normal flight does you know just chilling everything's completely fine and you know on the tv every single plane has like a map of like your position in the world it shows the plane going over like the globe and the map you know where you are so we had just gone over the ocean we were over you could see on the map we were not over land we were over the ocean we were over the atlantic ocean and yeah all of a sudden we're just flying normally just chilling i think i was just listening to some music and then all of a sudden there's this really bad turbulence and if you don't know what turbulence is if you've never been on a plane it's like you're in the plane starts to shake and the seatbelt sign comes on and you know the flight attendants are like oh fast your seatbelts you know make everybody get out of the toilet make everybody go and sit down and fast their seatbelts and stuff so you know turbulence is a really normal thing we just sat down put our seatbelts on and just carry on doing what we were doing and then out of nowhere, like, it got really bad. The plane started, like, really seriously, seriously leaning to the left side and shaking so much. And me and my friends, you know, being the age of words, just like, damn, you know, pretending, like, over-exaggerating it between ourselves a bit, like, oh, imagine if the plane crashed and stuff, like, are we going to land in water and that? And by this time, you know, people were already being sick. Like, a couple of my friends, they had already been sick. All the girls, as you could tell, you know, they were already all shaken up. They were already really scared. It, I was not going to lie. I was kind of scared because I have been on a lot of planes before and I've never been on a plane with that bad turbulence. And for like the flight attendants to be as calm as they was then I was just like, okay, this, this must be okay Because that's one thing that I always heard like if you're on a plane if the flight attendants look scared be scared If they don't look scared, it's honestly fine Because you know, they're the ones that fly every day and they're the ones that actually know what is really going on And then about two solid minutes later This turbulence was just carrying on going and carrying on going and the plane for some reason Just kept tilting more and more and more towards the left But it was still going forward the plane was still going forward but The plane was just tilting more and more to the left And then all of a sudden there was this massive jolt and the turbulence went absolutely mad you see like films where in the spaceship going up to space, you see how much it rocks. 
I promise you, it was like that, except I was in a plane. And I immediately looked at the flight attendant's faces. I was with my friend Bill and Harry, and we looked at the flight attendant's faces, and I shit you not, I've never seen someone look that scared in my life. I probably looked a lot more scared, but I was looking at this flight attendant who a minute ago was looking fine, calm, handing out peanuts to people. And now she's looking like she's about to cry. So I'm sitting there like, oh my God. So as like, the turbulence got really crazy, everyone's rushing around the plane. The flight attendants are making sure everybody's sitting down. The flight attendants even had to get down and strap themselves in. And I was on like an aisle row so I can see down the aisle to where the special flight attendants seat are at the end of like each section and I could see because they're facing towards you I could see their faces they were like holding their chairs and stuff and I could see like their arms kind of trembling and I'm sitting there looking at my friend Harry I'm like Harry lean over and look at this like lean over so Harry leans over we're looking at the flight attendant like pretty like shit herself this flight attendant Oh my god, and she made me so worried. <laughs> and I had every right to be worried. I had no idea at that exact time how worried I really should have been. So if you guys have ever flown, you know there's like the announcer thing where the pilot actually like announces stuff to the crew and to like the passengers and stuff, you know, updating them with what's going on. Yeah, he wasn't doing that. And all the flight attendants are sitting there like, um, okay, 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 nothing. He's like, no one's saying anything. I was thinking like, okay, why has no one said something? Like, someone should say something like, yeah, it's all going to be fine. No worries, just a bit of turbulence, which is what you would expect to hear. But yeah, after not hearing anything for five minutes, watching about three of my friends be sick. I'm sitting there with my friend Harry, holding onto my chair for my dear life. So yeah, the announcer thing turns on, the pilot goes, we're turning around to land in Atlanta for an emergency landing. The left wing has failed. I shit you not. He says, the left wing has failed. I'm sitting there, 16 years old, right? Like, what? I'm in a fucking plane, there's two wings. And you're telling me one of them isn't working. <laughs> so after that, the plane, I'm not kidding guys, the plane is flying at that, can you see my hand? The plane is flying at like nearly an, oh my God, the plane is flying at like a side angle, just like that. I'm trying to make it sound like something out of a movie because it seriously was guys like this was crazy because of the way the plane was like flying he couldn't like turn the plane properly so we had to carry on doing loops and loops and loops or something like that till we got to Atlanta like he wasn't able to fly the plane straight or something like that he said I can't remember exactly how it all works the planes but he wasn't able to just fly straight to Atlanta the way the wing had like broke it like Guys, imagine this, you're sitting on a plane, the pilot goes, sorry, one of the plane wings aren't working. What, what are you gonna do? I wasn't being sick or anything. I was just like sitting there just being so scared. I remember just putting both my headphones in and just listening to music. Like, I just didn't wanna know what was going on. Like I genuinely thought, like a genuine thought that was going through my head is fuck, like I could die. And that really isn't a thought that you like genuinely have and think like ever. And I don't know, man, that's the only time it's ever happened to me in my life. And the fact that it's in a plane, all the stuff you hear about planes crashing, planes failing, all that kind of stuff, I just don't know, man. It was just like the worst situation. So after the plane had like no fuel left, we managed to land in Atlanta. We had to emergency exit off the plane. I've never seen a flight. I've never seen anybody look more relieved when they get off a plane than the flight attendants and people like putting my foot on the ground. I was like, oh my God. I feel so happy. <laughs> but yeah, we had to do the emergency exit thing off the plane, which is pretty cool. I've never done that before. It wasn't pretty cool, but you know, it's an experience. It's an experience I'm glad I have, obviously, because I'm alive. I don't hope none of you, you know, have to go through that because seriously, being on a plane somewhere, because the fact that it was on a plane just made the whole thing feel more scary. Like say if you're in a car, if something's fucking up, you can stop the car. But you're not like, you know, a few thousand feet in the air going a few hundred miles an hour out into the ocean. I mean, that kind of, you know, makes the whole scenario a bit more crazy in your head and a bit more crazy, like, anyway. But honestly, when we landed, I didn't even care. They gave me so many free Domino's vouchers for this Domino's in the airport. I didn't even care, man. I stuffed myself with Domino's. I was just having a great time because they gave us so much free stuff. They gave us a free hotel. A funny thing as well, when we landed, my old friend Sam woke up. He slept through the whole... No one had seen him through the whole flight and he genuinely slept through the whole thing. We woke up, he turned around and he said to me, oh, we landed already. And I was just like, no way you slept through that. And I was like, we emergency landed in Atlanta. He was like, oh yeah, funny story, man. I'm just like, no, no, man, we are in Atlanta. And the look on his face is obviously, it's one of those things where you've got to be there for it to be more funny. But the look on someone's face when they like, I don't know, when they don't think they are, whether, I don't know, it's, it was just so funny. Obviously it's funny to look back at, but at the time I remember not being funny at all. So yeah, they gave us a load of free pizza. They gave us a free hotel for the day because our plane wasn't actually ready for like another whole day. So an upside to it, we got to spend a whole day in like a hot kind of place in Atlanta. I don't know where in Atlanta we were. I didn't know Atlanta was hot. That's the only time I've ever been to Atlanta. So yeah, and upside is we got a load of free food. We got to end up spending an extra day in America. We had a great holiday. It was a fun thing. Obviously, it's a really fun story to have. Like stuff like that is really like, it's cool to have stories like that. You can, obviously if everyone's fine and everybody's, you know, not harmed from it, but it's a really cool story to have. I thought I wanted to share it with you guys. So yeah, that is like the closest time in my life I've ever genuinely thought to myself, I'm going to die. Or, you know, I could die. Not that I'm going to die. I could die. I was never thinking to myself, I'm going to die because, you know, that's just 
nuts. Like, I was thinking to myself, it's a possibility right now. Like, it's a legit possibility. But yeah, anyway, um, I hope you guys do enjoy this trick shot. I thought I had to share that story for you guys today because I mentioned it in my live stream earlier and I was like, I actually want to speak about this in my video tonight because I've never gone into real depth with this story like, and I really described everything that was going on. So yeah, if you guys want me to tell more stories, I've got a lot of stories of stuff I could tell. There's a lot of stuff that I've had happen to me. There's a lot of stories that I could tell if you guys want me to do that. If you want me to tell stories in future videos, then make sure you leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. If you guys want me to upload my epic supply drop opening video for my next video, let's try and smash 2,000 likes this video. I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Make sure you check out G2 in the description. Also, enjoy this trick shot. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my video tomorrow, guys. Peace out. You just hit. What the hell? No way. Did you hit Ratu's? Ratu's hit! Yes, Ratu's! Oh, you're a beast. Where was it? Oh, yes, man. Ratu's hit the bill. Ratu's hit the bill.